All right, welcome everyone. It is Saturday and I am going to be sharing a couple things today. We're gonna kind of go over several different things in several different videos. So I am live on Facebook. This will also be on my YouTube channel. So I'm wearing an extra long necklace today. This is um, one, so if you know what 22 inches looks like, this is it. So just kind of wanted to show what that looks like. Um, and the, because we have them available on the site right now. We do, I make jewelry every once in a while and it's seasonal. And so there are, there's jewelry now available for you guys on the O3 Serum site. Okay, so what I'm gonna share with you though is how to use one of these. This is a gua sha stone. And um, if you haven't used one of these, this one's really pretty. It's um, actually rose quartz. And I'm gonna show you how to use it with the O3 Serum. So I've taken a shower. My face is completely clean. It's almost like too dry right now because I've been kind of setting up. Uh, what you'll wanna do is just make sure you clean your face really well. So um, I use a product from With Simplicity that's a face cleaner. And then I use a Norwex cloth in the shower because I put a lot of conditioner on. I usually condition my body as well. And then what you're gonna want to do is lastly clean your face and then take the Norwex cloth and clean it. And then I have one of these little, um, it's basically organic cotton um, bamboo. And so I get this really wet and then I just literally am trying to pick up, I wanna pick up any residue possible. I wanna make sure my face is fully clear of any residue. And so some of you will break out down here because you forgot that you have like conditioner residue from like your hair, my hair is still wet. So anyhow, so I'm gonna show you how to use this. You're basically just going to take a little bit of the O3 serum and in summer months, this comes out just as like a little squirt. So you don't need too much. And you're going to, again, apply this, apply this onto dry, fully clean skin, no residue anywhere, okay? And what this is going to then do is allow you to use your gua sha stone, however you want to use it. So there's a lot of videos out there that show you to kind of like pull up and then into your neck, you know, doing different things. You can use this part to kind of get into your eyebrows. It feels really good. So usually it's three or five. And so what that means is if you're doing this and kind of pulling, and then they usually do like a little wiggle, like towards the end. Again, this is just depending on how you're wanting to cleanse your um, lymphatic system. So this is actually pulling and draining your lymphatic system. Most people, when they do their necks, they'll do their full shoulder and up into their base of their neck there and you do it um, five times. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish, but just go slow and, and kind of feel it out. And then you can do the other side. You can do, you usually don't do right up the middle. You usually do kind of the sides of each one. Um, so I'm just doing this basic so that you can kind of see, and you can add more of the O3 serum if you wanted to, to just kind of like let it glide a little bit more, but it depends on your skin. Some of you need like a half of a squirt. Some of you need more. So just know it's really important that you use what you need. And so this for sinus feels really good. So getting this under here. And you'll see people do this where they're like holding their skin. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, honestly, I haven't felt there to be any difference when you hold your area there. But you can really just see that the contour of the gua sha stone is quite amazing. And again, it's not like there's a rule to this. So you don't have to do five in one section. You don't really have to like wiggle it. Again, it just is up to you. It's up to you and what feels good. So oftentimes I don't even use this. Um, like this area is really nice too. I don't even use this in a mirror because you don't need to see what you're doing. I have this next to my bed and I'll, you know, wash my face, get it fully clean, get it all, all the residue off. And then I'll put the O3 serum on and then sit in my bed and do this because it just, it just, whatever, like whatever feels good. And especially right now, because this is 
this is cold. So, so this stone, these stones are cold. So if you put, you could put this in the refrigerator, you could put this in the refrigerator. If you're using the O3 serum out of the jar, usually in the summer, you have to put it in the refrigerator. If you put this in the refrigerator in the pump, it won't come out. So just be aware of that. It's not going to come out. You're going to have a hard time. So uh, it's for summer months because it's warmer, but you just sit and, and do your face. You're pulling you're getting your lymphatic system. If you, if you um, research this and understand that this really does work as far as lifting your face for like a mini facelift, the issue is it's not, it's not long lived. So what that means is this is not something that is going to like, this will lift my jowls for the time being. But if I go to sleep and then wake up, it's gonna, it's not gonna be like there. But this is really excellent for lymphatic stimulation. So the cool thing about this is as I'm doing that, it this is soaking in. Okay, so the O3 serum has soaked in. Some of you have asked me, um, how do you then put a, put apply say sunscreen? I don't use traditional sunscreen. I do have a sunscreen that I will use um, if I need to on my face because it's really it's really nice. But um, but this allows you to give you that time that you need between putting the O3 serum on and then putting your makeup on. So let's say, so I'm going to put my makeup on right now. Um, and by the way, uh, this is free, so you can't buy this. <laughs> This, I mean, you can buy your own on Amazon if you want or wherever, but this comes free this month with orders starting, it was starting yesterday. So when you order one of these, or if your subscription goes through, um, you'll get one. So we, we try to kind of give you guys gifts each month because we think it's fun to give gifts. And so we got these made and um, I made sure that they actually were pink. A lot of times you get, sadly, a lot of the stones that you get that are rose quartz aren't actually rose quartz they're kind of whiter so the better ones um for emotional balance for um energy balance between men and women it's really an interesting stone so just enjoy it and remember it is cold so it feels really 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 yummy <laughs> sometimes i will just sit with it on my forehead because that alone um feels really good so so that's that's what this is. And we have it um, stamped with the O3 serum logo because, you know, we wanted it to match. <laughs> okay. So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is share with you um, putting on some makeup and some new stuff that I have. So you might notice my nail nails are colored. I don't typically do nail polish color, but um, this is with Simplicity. It's a new color, I believe. I don't know. I just hadn't seen it before, but it's really pretty and I like it. It's kind of like a plum lavender or something like that. So let me um, let me go through and show you how to do my makeup. So I want to be a little closer to you. I'm on my laptop here. It's always fun trying to show you guys makeup. So makeup free. What I'm going to do is put on the primer. And I haven't had any problems with, with Simplicity and the O3 serum. O3 serum is highly detoxifying. So Normally, if you put your makeup on right after using O3 serum, it might interact and you might then end up with a rash. Um, O3 serum just likes to detox things. So it's just important to kind of like honor your skin. <laughs> your skin will do different things and it will decide what it wants to do um, based on what you're using. Okay, so this is the cleanser I wanted to show you. Um, I have another one. I ordered another one because I love this stuff. So, and then I ordered a travel one because I'm going to be traveling and it's really good. It's just a regular foaming face wash. So that's good. Um, then so excited to share with you guys a couple things. So I haven't tried this yet, but this is for, um, for the circles under your eyes. It's a glow concealer and it's kind of new apparently. <laughs> so I was like, it looks a little weird, right? Because it's it looks kind of dark online, but it's not that dark. So again, I want to kind of show you, hopefully it's bright enough for you guys here to see like my whole skin without makeup on and after I wash it, so it's probably all red. So we're going to, um, I usually use my fingers. There are brushes. I'm going to show you some brushes. So this is 
specifically for people who have like really bad under eye issues. Like if you have purple under eyes or if you have um, issues with just sagging and not, not good. So I'm just gonna apply this here and check this out. I wanna show you guys something. This, you ready for it? Brand new. I'm really excited about this. So this is a brand new brush set that they have and it's amazing. So that being said, you could choose one of the brushes that makes sense for you. Um, I'm trying, trying to think which one I would use for under your eyes uh, to be like, if you don't like using your fingers, um, there's a lot of different brushes in here for, for how you might want to apply things. But let's say you just wanted to kind of make sure. I know um, makeup artists, when I was a photographer, they really were um, getting things delicately underneath in areas of your eyes. So it's good. Um, I'm going to try this because I don't typically use concealer, but I have some, I have some red. What do I have? There's like right here is some a red vein and then my nose is a little bit pink I don't think you're supposed to be using it this way but I'm gonna try it because my nose is a, a little bit pink from today I was out in the sun a lot and I just want to kind of take that pinkness down I also have this funny thing over here which probably none of you ever see but again we'll just see so far so good so yeah it's nice because it's it's a cream so it's not um it's not like Taking. Okay, so let's go for it then with the two colors. Because remember, um, in the summer, I get a little tanner, a little more tan. So I'm using shade one with shade four. So I'm going to put one pump of shade. What I've this is what I've been doing lately because I don't need that much. So one pump of shade one and like a little tiny pump of the shade four, just like a little squirt in there. And then I'm mixing it with my finger to give it, to like kind of blend it. And then I have a little brush, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of tap it on in areas so that I'm spreading it around my face. I have a little zit right there. Okay, so again, this is just to get it in the different areas. And then I'm gonna take this guy and just pull it through. So this will, and I can take the leftover. I always like kind of a little bit more on my forehead because I wanna make sure it's not red. And then I usually have just been leaving it like this because summer, I don't want to be like all cakey. So this creates a really nice um, look as far as like just being nice and fresh looking without having all that makeup built up on powder. But what I'm going to show you is what you can do if you don't like any shine whatsoever. And so one of the best um, products that they have for just shine reduction. They actually, and this is all SPF by the way. So right now I have, my skin is protected. So then I could put some SPF down here. I have, um, I think it's called Mondo or something like that. It's an organic SPF. But the thing is um, they also have a powder. So some of you like to use just a colored powder, but I'm gonna do that with the big brush here. So we're gonna use this one and you could use their brushes any way that you want. Uh, so like if I wanted to take this brush and I could have applied all of that with this brush and this is an excellent brush. So if you, you may like using these, they get kind of grimy. Um, these are easier to clean. So again, if I were to show you here, I'll just kind of do it and just a little bit of the four. So again, just a little bit of the four to the number one. So shade one and shade four. And I'm gonna mix it up. And again, some of you just need more, more coverage. So then you could take this and it does the same thing. So I'm stippling it. And this is just building the coverage a little bit more. So this is an excellent brush for that. And I haven't had one of these in a long time. 
Um, and so I'm actually excited to try this. So when I, I just saw it, I'm like, oh, wait, shoot, I should do that instead, because this is a better way to apply. Um, I'm always having to clean these. They get kind of messed up and, and chunked out, you know, so it's like I'm always having to clean it. So this. So check it out. So I just put all of that on and it's not all that grimy. It's not grimy at all. So that's awesome. <laughs> so that's a better way. So that's this brush. And then this is their translucent setting powder. You don't need a lot. So we're just going to take, oftentimes I just use whatever was in the lid, which you can even see it kind of, I don't know if you can see it pluming a little bit, but just a little bit. And then I'm just doing the T-zone. So just a little bit. You really don't need that much. And that just takes down the shine. So um, for the main of it. So I do the T-zone and then I'll just do the rest that's just left over. Okay, and this is excellent. Now I'm gonna show you um, get this. And I didn't use, I usually sometimes not often use the regular cream concealer um, in a bare color, but right now I'm not really needing it. So, um, and then I'm gonna use the shell pressed blush. And so then this is the brush for that. It's just a nice, smaller, a little flatter, but nicer because I can then go here and then I'm just going to get a little bit of blush on the on the top of my cheekbone I used to do like the apples but I realized that as I'm getting older that doesn't look as good on a 49 year old <laughs> so having just like almost like a little bit of sun on your face would be this ridgeline and it helps with giving me a little bit more cheekbones. I'm a little heavier than I'd like to be, about 10 pounds over right now. And that actually helps um, define my face a little bit. So um, that's that. I don't want to lose all my brushes here. So that's blush and it's shell that I'm using because that's really natural looking. Um, okay, so then, and again, if you're just joining, we're using the, the brand new brush set from this is like brand new from, from with simplicity. I was so excited to get this because my brushes, I need, I need, I needed some brushes. Okay. So let's do eyes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do my lips. Do you guys not like, like pasty lips? I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of all that. So I'm going to show you my favorite, my all-time favorite. And I lost it and then found it. So now I have two. So I'm super excited because this is like my favorite color. It's peony, peony, peony. But it's a perfect, it's like the perfect color for me because it's just a shade darker than my skin. You know what I mean? So like, I think I just like got it all over myself, but that's okay. So it's a really nice natural color. It's amazing. Literally my favorite. So if you like that kind of dusty pink, Peony is your best friend. I love this. It's usually in a pocket somewhere. And then I'm like, oh no, where did I leave it? Okay, so let's do the eyes. Um, and I'm gonna let me get it out here. I've got my eyeshadow in this little guy so I don't lose them. I have a lot of their eyeshadows, but I end up always kind of going back to the same, the same ones. So again, let's get the brush here so i'm going to use this one and we're just going to put a base on of starlight now this is a little bit shiny for some of you i'm i'm in the age of like i still like the shiny eyeshadow <laughs> and as i get older i'm not going to be able to wear it anymore because you know the shiny eyeshadow for old ladies us old ladies you know as we get those wrinkly eyes it doesn't set well in there. So I think I maybe have a little bit more time left to be able to do this. We'll see. And then I have uh, Moscato, which is also a really good base. So you could use this. It's a little bit different. I'll, I'll show them both to you. So I'm just going to put this in the eye here and then just right along the ridge. They're a little bit different, but I tend to use them both because they are, ooh, I mean, Oh, I'm dropping stuff. So Starlight is this one and Moscato is this one. So you can see it's like a little yellow, a little pink. So I find that they're just, 
they're just both really good. So however you want to use them, this, the Moscato is a little lighter, so I put it kind of as a highlight on the inside. Okay, and then my absolute favorite for contouring is chestnut. So let's go ahead and try that one with a totally different brush. I don't typically use these. This is a, like more of a round brush. So, and sometimes I tend to just use the same brush. So I could just use the same brush over and over again because, you know, lazy. But what I'm going to do, I want to be careful not to get too much. So I blow it off and then I'm going to put it here just in the crease towards the outside edge, not the whole crease. And do the other side. So when you guys say, oh, I like your makeup, it's usually this. So just so you know, just if you're always wondering, it's usually what I have on, right? Like what I'm wearing right now. So then I'm going to do um, Starlight again, because I never want to have like any harsh edges here. Don't drop the brush. So I'm just blending it with some Starlight. Okay, then you do one of two things. You can use the chestnut as eyeliner, or you can just use their eyeliner, which I actually really like. This is my favorite eyeliner. So let's see if I can do this. Which one has a mirror? This one. Hard to do on the video camera without a mirror. So I'm going to use a mirror for this one. So I usually go from about half the midway point of my eye. Now everyone has different eyes and different ways of doing their makeup. I find that this looks the best on me. I don't find that any woman looks good with a full line under and over. And the reason for that is it makes your eyes look smaller. It's like panda bear. So another little trick if you're going out. So like if I'm going out for dinner or something, I'll put the tiniest a bit just right on the very underside. And that definitely fancies it up, like definitely. But it's not too much. Now, what you can do if you want to blend that is you take an angle brush and they've got a good one here. So we're going to use this angle brush. And we just want to go ahead and blend it a little bit so that it's not such a harsh line. However, some of you like that harsh line. They do have a liquid eyeliner, so you could get that. Ooh, <laughs> throwing brushes. All right, so we'll see what Tim thinks, but I'm going to do my mascara next. But it, he's always the one that has to see me. So here's another trick, ladies. Um, I don't have very gray eyebrows just yet. They're starting. But I'll take my leftover brown that I just used. And they actually do have a really good uh, brow brush. But again, lazy. I'll take the leftover that's on here and just pull through on both sides. Just usually it's right here that is the problem area that I tend to get maybe some makeup buildup or something. So looking good so far. Okay, so mascara is a big issue. And I know that you guys always are like, well, you just did your whole face with no synthetics. And now I'm gonna use a synthetic eyelash. <laughs> okay, a couple things. Number one, this is a, I think they call it a 15 free, meaning there's 15, it's free of 15 typical synthetic on my nail polish here. Um, they have great nail polish. It's not synthetic free. You can't have synthetic free nail polish. And by the way, last I checked, like I'm not really having any issues with my nail polish being toxic to my skin because I'm not painting it on my skin. Your eyelashes are sort of similar in that, again, same with my hair. I put dimethicone on my hair all the time because I need to, because I'm heat treating it. I wouldn't put dimethicone on my face. I need my face to breathe. So I'm using a pretty inexpensive, a friend of mine um, on here um, said this is her favorite and she's used it for like 25 years. So this is the double extend by <gasps> L'Oreal. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's not synthetic free, but I don't care. It creates plastic tubes. It doesn't move. It doesn't come off. It doesn't make my eyes water. 
I've had the worst time with eyes watering. So I'm just going to show you how to put this on. It's white and then black. So whatever you want to, you know, you don't need to do this if you don't want to. I'm not touching my skin with it. I'm just putting it on the outside edges. So again, that's like your call if you feel like this is a problem for you. Not for me. We do the best we can, right, ladies? But like, I'm not interested in having my eyes water all day long and have mascara flaking all down my face all day long. Mascara is probably one of the hardest things to, to do. Um, so anyhow, and then the cool thing about this is that once, once you're, you know, you wear it all day, the stuff doesn't move, right? It just is great. And then when you're ready to take it off, you just wash your face with warm water. You don't put soap on it. You just put the warm water on the lashes and then the tubes fall off. They just come off. So no, those aren't your lashes falling off. It's the mascara tubes just coming off. It looks like little spiders are in your drain. <laughs> so, all right, let me get this one. And it's pretty easy to apply. I mean, yeah, I'm like a one-step girl. So having this two-step eyelashes, it's a little bit annoying, but it doesn't bother me too much because then I know I don't, I'm not going to have like tearing eyes for the rest of my day. Okay. So that's my makeup. I'm using all with simplicity, except for the mascara. Sorry, girls. All you ladies that just want to have one brand. Um, but it's really good. And this is the one I picked. This is the one I use all the time. So if you're curious about how to get it, um, they did open up the discount code. So uh, the code will be in the YouTube um, replay and it's also going to be in the Facebook replay. So there's a, a code that you can use to get a discount. And then there's also a link that is an affiliate link. So if you enjoy watching my stuff, I appreciate you using any of my affiliate links because that helps put food on our table. So helps me doing this all the time for you guys. So super fun, but that was a little two-part thing on how to do your O3 serum with a gua sha stone that's free this month, o3serum.com. And then uh, with simplicity. So it's really great. I hope that this has been helpful. Next up, we're going to be talking about parasites and all those little crazy critters. So Stick around because I'm going to be doing another video in just like two minutes. Okay. And if you're watching the replay, search for parasites. All right. We'll see you in just a bit. Bye guys. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this without stopping the whole thing. Oh, Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Bye.